welcome to my dance studio and video channel film from the heart of Cody West Wales. My name is Jessica Scarlett May. I'm a fellow of the British Association of Teachers of Dancing, a former ICD, imperial teacher, school owner and scholarship nominee. Today we're going to have a look at the Brooklyn Tango created by Robert and Louise Aldrin back in 2013. The dance itself is littered with competition figures and figures that we dance above goal. So please feel free leaders to follow me now and we'll have a walk through this particular dance. So the dance itself will be dancing tango hold throughout. We're going to start facing down to wall, you have a foot slip and a body turn and you're dancing it progressively into one to three of a promenade, two to three of a four way whisk and a natural pivot into a checked back corte. So here we go, stepping forward with quick body turn, moving down line dance, slow, using CBM, stepping across the ladies path before we keep um, with the continuous turn as we step right up to side and slide back, stepping into a crossing action and a four way toe turned in. We're now moving down line of dance where the man will step across the ladies' path once again and we dance a pivot, we move the lady back and we step to side and start you back. And this is a checked action before we step into the back corte. It's, a, it's really an overlap. We're already there. Um, we're inside of your ball on the right foot, uh, we've stepped inside your ball here. So you could make more of, more of the particular movement before stepping into the back forte and we end up facing line of dance. Now we're going to dance an open time on after four way slip pivot, which has a left whisk which happens immediately after it. So we've got a four way slip pivot, open time on into a left wrist, the closing action, right foot, same foot lunge, into a drag. So let's just do that then. We're moving down line of dance, but our next step is taken that way. So we're stepping diagonal to centre, keep your body towards your partner, even though you step right foot to side, and uh, um, right foot back with right side leg, and you step back in CBMP. Um, you're going to dance a slipping action where you move to centre, toe turned in, and hold your left foot forward in CBMP. So you're moving down line of dance. And your next step, guess what, is taking diagonal to uh, centre for the open telling off. We move diagonal to centre using CBM body turn. We step across the path and we finish left foot to side, side forward before immediately stepping on step four into a left wrist. Now you notice that's hit the ball of the foot, it does lower as I take the next step diagonal to it to cause me to face four. Now we're going to do a right foot lunge moving against line of dance. It's right foot to side, side forward and you're there. Okay? We recover out of that lunge into um, a drag. Now, that means you're moving into a, a compressed leg which straightens on the inside, leaving the right inside of the toe with part weight to move towards it, okay? We have two slows there, which feels like a long time in this particular dance because it's actually where there's only two toes together. We close on the second slow and we turn on the hands to promenade. Now, what the lady's going to do here is she's going to do a same foot lunge point. So that means you're going to turn your body to right there, gents, and you're going to um, allow the lady to make it almost a, um, a switch turn in between your body, stepping through inside leg as you step um, left foot to side for another slow. So we've got a body turn, eighth of a turn with the foot, she's turned into a promenade. Now, she's going to move across your path as she dances quick and quick, 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 quick 
slow into the five step. So we move diagonal to centre on that next step. There we go. We step right foot to side, side back. We both step in left foot back, partner outside. And we finish facing wall on the slow. And we're ready to dance the signature part of this dance. Now the signature part of this dance is the store walks. And I must admit, the last time I danced these was um, when I did my medalist exams with the creator. But in any case, I'll have a go and at least get the timings right for you. So we're now moving diagonally. Now we're stepping left foot to side, slow. Now the store walks are counted quick, quick, with a body turn inwards. It feels like a fun type movement before set um, on the end, moving in the same direction. So we'll do that again. So we're stepping through, quick, 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 inside edge of toe, stepping forward again, ball heel, turning the body back to promenade. Now, we've come to the exciting bit of these stone walks. It's the end, it's a wrap. That's what I know and um, used to know it as. And basically, the lady's moving from promenade to a full position aerial where she takes the leg and she takes it in between yours as she takes her head back. So that's what's happening for the girl. The guy has to step through with the girl and he steps forward, heelly, moving down to wall but pointing to line of dance. She makes that elevation and she comes down in between your feet as you face over a brow and you're facing down to centre. The man dances a natural pivot, leading the lady back, and he steps forward a small step because she's already overstretched. He ends backing line of dance. He dances a pivot, stepping left foot back and slightly to the side, and he ends facing diagonal to centre. He continues stepping forward, right foot down to centre in CBMP and CBM, I would imagine, and he finishes with left foot to side in promenade moving diagonal to centre. Now the back checks from promenade move in a general direction that way. I've seen them taking down line of dance or diagonal to centre and after dancing the lady steps I think it will be more in that direction. So Guy's right foot forward, stepping forward in CBMP and promenade. So he's got a body turn to right. He steps left foot to side and slightly back, bringing the lady square inside a jabot heel. So that's got a left side lead. He steps right foot back in CBMP to centre. He repeats an action inside a jabot heel outside of your ball heel before stepping left foot to side slightly back giving a general direction towards the middle of the room and we're stepping right foot back in CBMP to dance a closing uh, to dance a close finish to finish facing down to wall to put me back in my starting position and we're back into a progressive link and we're off down the room for um, one to three, our uh, promenade turn to three, four way, and so on. If you like these walkthroughs and the proving complimentary to keeping up with your current teacher, or indeed you are a teacher that is learning this dance with me rather than dancing, that, seeing the whole thing and not being able to break it down, please hit those like, subscribe, and notification bells. Indeed, I have 133 of these dance walkthroughs on this platform right now for you to view. And these include Old Time, Modern Sequence, Boring and Latin 2. But please feel free to view them on this platform. So what's this dance called? It's called the Brooklyn Tango. Where do we see it? We see this in competition championships mainly. And we see advanced dancers dance it as well at Blackpool Town. That might improve me. But anyway, we'll see that. Uh, so, how do we dance here? 
we dance it in tango hall throughout. First, uh, we're starting down to wall and we're moving straight into a progressive link. So here we go, moving away from the camera this time and left foot forward and see the end body turn. We're now moving in promenade, what's to be the promenade turn? There we go, we all need to step down to wall on the second step, you can see again. And we keep that turn as we step into two, three, of a four leg rest. Toe turned in. If it's mentioned in the script, it has to be done. So we're dancing a natural pivot turn. What happens there? We move in from an arm, we move across the ladies' path, we dance a pivot into a left side lead, intelligent ball heel, intelligent ball right foot. And it, it's a checked action. There's a quick there, it doesn't feel like it. And we're stepping back into a back chain to face what I have danced. We're dancing a full way slip pivot where we're trying to keep the body towards the partner for as long as we can, moving down by the dance. So here we go. It moves down onto the centre, right foot to side, right side leading, and hallway, and we set left foot back and see the MP. And hallway, can you see how the body is turned towards your partner? Then you dance a slip into a toe turning, and left foot forward, held in CVMP. We're dancing, what? An open telling one. Oh yes, it moves down to centre, and move across. And the Indian promenade, promenade moving down the line of dance. And we can step into a left wrist, okay, facing down to wall. And lower through that foot as I step onto my next step and close my feet. I dance into right foot lunge step, I dance to right foot lunge step, moving down to wall against the line of dance. Rump! All part of that segment. We step into a drag, it's two slows together, which is unusual. And we close, stepping onto a compressed leg with part weight inside the toe right foot. And we draw it towards the left foot as we strengthen the supporting leg. Closing on the second slow and turning to front and arm. Okay? You dance um, a 10 foot lunge point where the lady dances. A switch between the feet. She's got her inside leg forward now. She's going to walk through as we step into a five step moving um, diagonal to centre. We move down to centre, quick hand. We leave the lady outside car on a quick, quick, slow. We've ended facing wall. We're now dancing the store walks. What do the store walks have? Heel leads, yeah. Um, except the ones that we point on the toe. And it has a body turn. So here we go, we're in promenade. So we've got slow, quick, quick, and. Okay, we do that again. Quick, quick, and. It leads us into the next movement, a wrap. So we step forward on a heel. We use a body turn to initiate that movement as the lady lifts up into that four position uh, area and she comes down and sets in between your feet on that leg. It's a foot in flight. Yeah, okay. So what do we need to do? We move forward, down towards the wall. She lifts and lowers between your feet and you end facing what turns? Down towards the centre. We move into a natural pivot turn. She has already stretched a you can only make a small set. You can straight to the turn on that turn, you keep turning. Diagonal to centre. I then move down to centre with a continuous of body turn, CBM, and I set left foot to side uh, with a left side lead moving down to centre for the back checks from promenade. Now the back checks from promenade move down the line of dancers as a man initiates body turn and he dances 
uh, bringing the lady square before checking right foot back outside of your ball heel. He does the same action inside of your ball heel, left foot to side and slightly back with the left side lead, outside of your ball heel before stepping left foot to side and slightly back. Now, he completes the dance by dancing a close finish, moving to centre, stepping right foot back in CBMP, left foot to side and side forward, to close right foot to left foot, to end facing down to wall. And he's now back in his starting position to dance a progressive link into uh, one to three of an actual promenade, two to three of a fall away. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed this walkthrough. Don't forget to have a look at the 133 others uh, when time allows. You know what I'm going to say. My name is Jessica Scarlet May. Come and join me again and put your best foot forward. See you soon. Look out for me at Blackpool Tower and keep dancing. Thank you very much. Oh, don't forget to buy me a coffee. That would be really nice. Thank you very much for joining me and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.